Reading with Val. Hi guys, my name is Valerie. Have you ever tried to make pie before? I haven't, but I really want to try. This book that I'm going to be reviewing with you right now is basically all about pies. Summer of a thousand pies, right here. And you can see there's three pies on the cover and one cat named Tom. This book is by Margaret Dilloway, and I love her writing. And another book that I read and reviewed by her was The Five Things About Ava Andrews. And I really enjoyed that book. And this book I certainly enjoyed as well. This book is a realistic fiction book, and I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. In this book, Katie is adjusting to her new life. Her dad is in jail because he is not a good parent and he is addicted to drugs. And so she needed to move in with her aunt Shell and Suzanne. And she's adjusting to her new life and she's adapting to her new life. And I just think that she is super brave to be even in this situation because she has gone through so much in her life already and she's only 12. Auntie Shell owns a pie shop named Shell's Pie. Katie actually loves baking and her first pie turned out horrible, but her task throughout the whole summer is to make a thousand pies. Her goal of making a thousand pies in the summer is kind of like my goal, but except not pies, but with books. And my goal is to get 100 reviews over the entire summer. And I'm on my 80th something. Uh, so I'm pretty close, but a thousand is way more than a hundred. So I don't even know how she does it. This is why this book is actually called Summer of a Thousand Pies. And I think the name is super hooking because I love baking too. I love how you can just put ingredients together and make a whole new thing that is super good. I haven't made pie yet, but there are recipes in the back of this book that I am looking forward to making, like the strawberry basil pie, which Katie actually invented. And during this, Katie also finds out who she really is and finds out what she's been missing the whole time in her entire life. Because first of all, she doesn't actually have a home. Her dad and her moved across motels and lived in her van and never really found a permanent place to stay. And I think that her dad is super kind and he does love Katie, but there's just some things that he could have done better as a parent, but it's really hard to be a parent. And he was hiding certain things from Katie, like Aunt Shell and Suzanne. And so uh, that is really bad just to see how much Katie was missing actually on her life. And now that she has so many new friends and she actually feels like she has a home and people that love her instead of being alone and so she's starting to think well do I really want my dad to come back and do I want to live with him in all those motels and those vans again and she's starting to think that of that to herself and I think there's a little part in her that does not want to go back with her dad but she I don't think she wants to say that at all because her dad is the reason why she was actually in life, like why she was in the world. So parents are really hard, like a really hard role to take on. And I am looking forward to that day when I become a parent. <laughs> so um, back to the book. My favorite character in this book is definitely Katie. She is such an amazing person and she cares about other people so much. There's so many examples in this book, but I'm just going to tell you a various one that keeps happening. Aunt Shell and Suzanne have gone through so many money problems and money's tight, their shop isn't doing that well, there's so many other pie shops and they are kind of letting everyone down if they do close because 
um, there is a family and uh, they work for Shell's, comp Shell's shop and actually Jay is, Jay is Katie's friend and uh, Jay is actually part of that family. Well, why can't that family get another job? Well, it's because they're illegals and it's been happening in a lot of books that I've read and Jay's family is kind of depending on the shop and shell to actually survive and live. Again, back to Katie and uh, how she cares about others. She always asks Shell if she's like, all right, and like, are, are you okay? And she's a really kind person, and she really just cares about other people and their feelings. I would recommend this book to kids between the ages 9 through 12. This book is an amazing book about friendship, loyalty, um, caring about others, and being a community because Julian, the town that Katie's, that Aunt Shell is living in, it's really just a community where everyone depends on each other and just helps each other. That community is kind of like paradise because everybody's so nice to each other and it's just amazing. In the beginning, I did not really get the book, but as soon as the book kind of moved along, I understand it and it needs to build a foundation. So I know all the characters and who they are, what they do, and their role in the book. And so keep on reading. It's such an amazing book at the end. And I couldn't put down this book. Like I was reading it at dinner, like every second I could. And all in my free time, I loved it. And yeah. I hope you guys really enjoy this book. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. See you guys soon. Bye.